Hi, so welcome to episode 5. On this episode 5, we're going to launch OKBOT and test the full functionalities of OKBOT. This is basically around executing tax, but this time around, I will show you the more advanced features of OKBOT. So I'm going to run as administrator. Without running as administrator, the OKBOT would open up, but you wouldn't see a thing. So running as administrator would have you see it the way it should, which is, yeah, this is it. So I'm going to log in using my API key. Um, please do note that this API key would change from, you know, what it is after now. And that's because it's very dangerous to allow anybody to use my API key. As a matter of fact, I'm taking quite a very big risk making these videos and uploading them straight away. And this is why. So if I click on the free executor, for instance, and I turn on a bot, any bot at all, if I've logged into that bot before, you can go back and use that bot to do whatever you would want to use that bot for and to type back to me. So let me show you an instance. I'm going to turn this bot on. So I'm currently switching on bot um, Hina002. It's a Xiaomi device and the bot is running. Just to let you know why you should never give anybody your API key. This bot has opened right now, but if I go to google.com, you're going to see that this bot practically has my states. It has every search history I've ever made on this account. It even has my um, account here logged in, which is um, okegbot so at gmail.com. If I head over right now to YouTube, you would see that I'm already logged into YouTube. So this bot contains both my logged in email address. Every single thing about this email is already here, both the YouTube, the Google. Now, the major reason we do this is so that the bot will look as legit as possible. So for instance, if I'm loading a YouTube video, let's say I want to load this video. If I'm loading this video and I'm generating views and click, simply because I'm already logged into YouTube, YouTube will actually validate this as a real traffic. Now, I can also turn another device. Now, let's say I want to turn this one on. This one is three. So I'm going to turn this one on as well. And you see that this one is another device. So in a nutshell, when you give somebody your API key, if you have logged into Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, if the person uses your API key, they can go back there and use those your accounts. Now the best part of this is that it will help you to automate Instagram comments, Instagram likes, Instagram views. But as well, if somebody else has your API key, they can automate things that will make them get banned. So for instance, now this is another email. This is okbot3. I created okbot3 at gmail.com. And um, this other one is... This other one is okbot2 at gmail.com. So we have okbot2 at gmail.com and okbot3 at gmail.com. Okay, so now I'm going to shut down this bot and this is so I can teach you from where I left off. So on the previous episode, I had taught you all on how to create a task. We were even um, able to send that task to about two bots. We sent the signals to like two bots and um, they were able to do the Naira land own. But when they got to Google search, it was like, oh, we couldn't perform this task because you don't have, you know, access to perform this task. So on this particular video, which is episode five, I would launch all the pro features right now and have you see them. So one of the biggest question I get sometimes is, um, please, can I turn bot from multiple families or does it have to always be from um, a particular family? No, you can own multiple family. For instance, this is bot Hina. I have a Xiaomi device. I'm going to tick on this one. I have another one here, a Samsung A51, um, which is this, the name of this bot is this. I'm going to tick on it. I'm going to head over to the next list. I'll look for another bot, whichever pleases me. Let's say I go to bot YouTube NG. There are lots of iPhones over here. I could use any of the iPhone that pleases me. Um, these are all old iPhones. I'm looking for like a new recent iPhone. Um, okay, so a new recent iPhone. Let's check. All these are like old iPhone devices. Okay, let me, let me look for a particular bot family that has, like this one has 93 
um, phones, 93 devices, but this 93 is just iPhone. That is zero Android, that is zero Windows, that is zero Mac. So I want something that has like um, Android in it. So let me head over to US. US right now, I can see Samsung S8. I can see Samsung Galaxy S20. So I can turn Galaxy S20 on. Um, let me head over to another device. There are lots of them, here, but I don't want to use the ones that have Prozzy. Like this one is a local network, so I don't want to use one that has Prozzy because the Prozzy might not be good. Okay, so I'm on Samsung Galaxy right now again, and I can see that this is another bot family called OKBot. And on OKBot, we have Galaxy S10, so I can choose Galaxy S10 if I want to. Okay, let's just choose Galaxy S10. So, a total right now, I've been able to select from a um, couple of family. I selected from Hina. Hina, I had choose 002 and 003. Then I went to What's USA and I was able to choose just one Samsung X20. And I was able to choose one again from OKBot. And on OKBot own, I had choose the. Um, can't remember where that one is. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this is it. From OKBot, I had choose Galaxy S10. So, I would not use a proxy, but if I wanted to use a proxy server, I would turn this on. I would advise you use a proxy server when you, had a, when you have a good one, but the proxy servers from um, WebShare is completely bad, so I don't recommend it. So, I'm going to be using my local network over here. So, I will turn on the bots. It's going to list all the bots I had already selected. Like, this is Hina 002003. This is What's USA. This is OKBot 0011. So, these are practically all the devices we had already switched on. And I'm going to confirm. So, now I'm going to confirm. It's going to switch on every one of these devices, one after the other. But Hina 002 has come on. 003 is about to come on. 003 has come on, it's running. What's underscore USA is coming on? Samsung Galaxy S10 or Note. Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus is coming on. So now I have a total of 10 devices. And if I go back to the active section, you'll be able to see that once again, these are the devices that are currently active. Let me refresh. Control arrow. So right now I have a total number of I would see when the bots um finish loading. I have a total number of nine hundred and ninety-six bots. Now remember when I said that um the more you make payments or when you pay for pro plans you have access to have more bots. So when you come as a free member you only have hundred bots. When you pay for primary pro or secondary pro primary pro gives you up to 1000 bots secondary pro gives you up to 2500 bots so I, I think i'm currently at secondary pro or the about if i'm not mistaken so i can now head back to active this active will show you the bots that are currently active at the moment so the active bots we have at the moment um, are hina 003 002 what usa and okay bot 4 so remember when I told you that you can actually send two signals, you can make a bot follow something from A to Z, or you can make them to shuffle it and do it in whatever um, order they want. So I would actually open all these bots right here, and I would tick all of them. So I've ticked the four of them, one, two, three, four. You can see they are all ticked, and now I've ticked every single one of them. I would give them a task to perform, which is this one. But instead of saying perform the stacks from A to Z, I will say shuffle the stacks and perform it. Now it's going to ask me to confirm and I'll confirm. Now the moment I confirm, it will start performing the stacks and I'll just minimize so you can see. Good, I've minimized. Now I want you to pay attention to every one of these bots. The bots would make Google searches. The ones that are not making Google search will go to Naira land. You can see there are like two bots currently on the screen making a Google search. Why the other ones are going to Naira land? Now, each and every single one of them can perform so many tasks. Um, we're only able to do like two tasks for you at the moment, so you can actually see um, what they look like. But basically, you can have as many tasks as possible automated. Now, if you're asking questions around, is this safe for Google AdSense? Yes, it is. And now, just to let you know, just after the ones that had done Google search and done with their Google search, they will head over to Naira Land. Why the guys that finished doing Naira Land will leave Naira Land and go to Google? So currently, Naira Land is still 
um, going on. The bot currently on Ireland is still performing task. This other one here has clicked on something. <laughs> it's clicked on. I don't know what it's clicked on. Why this other one here is trying to log into Google? So one is trying to log into Google. The other one has clicked on something else. Uh, why the other ones are still playing around Ireland? After a while, the time we had already set for the bot to finish on Google. If it gets to that time, it will actually leave Google and head over to visit Ireland. Like you can see, it's saying I am. I have completed my Google search. I completed my Google search and this other guy sh too should be telling you it has completed its own Google search. Why these ones have done their Google search and they are already rounding up to finish from Google? These other guys that were on Iron Land are now going to Google. I don't know if you guys understand what we're trying to do right here, but we're trying to make it in a way where these bots would actually automate lots of tasks. They would do a particular set of things in no particular order. So if I had lots of activities right now, each and every single one of these activities would have been um, um, uh, what's it called again executed at a different time. For instance, the Naira land own is completely done. Okay, same primary tax is done, I presume. So I think it should be going to Google. This is Naira land. This is one of them going to Google. You see, yeah, the both of them are going to Google now. Watch, they're all making Google searches by themselves. So if you have like two to three thousand bots, this is exactly what each or every one of them would do. They will keep making Google searches around high CPC keywords, such as insurance, marketing, whatever you want them to make. So um, this one is completed. Or this one has completed its task. Okay, it's still moving. If it's still moving, it means it has it has not yet um, completed. But whenever it stops moving, it will take you back to OKBot to let you know that okay, it's done with this task. You can go back to the home page. So this is how to automate tasks um, using the free executor. What is the difference between the free executor? And the um, other pro ones. Now, um, just to mention this, you can see it has gone to videos. So not only did it search for this thing on Google, it has gone to that video category, and now it's moving around there. It might even play one of the videos on Instagram. Yeah, that is how good it is. Sometimes it goes through the Google search. It's like this one is 002, this one is 003. So sometimes it goes through the Google search, it will look for one of the results on Google. It will just click on that result. It will stay on the website, then when it is done with its activity, it will bring you back again to OKBot. If you give it another task to perform, it will perform the task. Whenever it's done with that particular task, it will still come back to OKBot. So you have learned how to execute tasks using the free executor, which is basically you head over to OKBot, you switch on as many devices as you want to switch on, and then you tick them on the active section, and you send them a task to perform. This task could be um, orderly, that means the tax should be from A to Z as it was programmed, or they should shuffle the tax and execute it whichever way they deem fit. So what we did over here was to say, um, execute it whichever way you deem fit. Some went to Google first, some went to Ireland first, but if we had told all of them to follow up the way it was programmed, they will all do the same thing step by step. Now that is going to be an issue if you're trying to load a Google AdSense account because you're going to run into ads limits and ad suspension. But if you make it short for the task, you know, you wouldn't have issues. So this is the free executor. This is how to use the free executor. Basically, it's um, very simple to use. You have two sections, the active which is the active um, section, which is when the bot is turned on, which is what you were seeing initially. Um, you know the, the active section because there is a red button to let you know you can switch off your bots. And the inactive section is where your other bots that are not currently turned on are staying. Now you also know you are on an inactive section because you have a green button to turn on the bots. So I'm going to switch off every single bot we have. And on episode 6, I will teach you how to use the orderly and the random executor. And I will explain in details what each of them does, both the orderly and the random executor. So see you at episode 6. See you at episode 6.